Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, I didn't see you there. That's all right, Stickman. I was just soothing this um this stick. Yeah, there's sticks. There's lots of those around here. Um, yeah, yeah. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, the agenda is only two of us here, mate. Precisely. What are we getting up to today? Well, what, uh, what's on the agenda? What's the plan? Well, we've been neighbours for five firm years now. Bloody hell! Really, five yeah, years? Um, wow. There's a lot of mystery shrouds these woods. That's it, does. Hey, everyone who comes in here is basically immortal, mate. It would seem so. From my studies, it would appear as though if you spend a great deal of time in these woods and make them your home, you become rather unkillable as such. Yeah, I've been here for 57 years now. Quite, quite some time. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Oh. So, where were we? Right. Well, I don't know. Now, this is the same area we were in before. This, I don't think we've been this way before. It's quite strange, really. All the time I've been living in these woods, and I've never come across this path before. I think I got trapped in the nettles here 57 years ago. What's this? Trapped in the nettles here? Yeah. Ah. This Memories is where your origin back. tale... Originated. It is. Strange. I do sense a strange energy in the air as well. Yeah, spirit energies around these trees. Something seems. If I get stuck in the nettles again, I'm dead. What on earth is this contraption over here? What on earth is this? Some kind of steel fence. A defense mechanism of some kind. Barbed wire. Do you oh, think mate. do you think it's electrified? Some kind of power station behind there. Hmm. Power station deep in the Australian outback. Well, yeah. the woods in the Australian outback. Well the And Australian we've never outback seen this place. Just mysterious woods. But I mean we've come so close to this path so many times. How have we never turned down here? Yeah, Apart, goes. I mean, since obviously what happened. Yeah, quite haunting actually. Hmm. Go see if it's electrified, old chap. Uh, I don't think I could. All you've got to do is put your hand on it, and if you get electrocuted, you won't die because you're immortal. It just hurt a lot. For science! I thought <laughs> you were a stick scientist. Um, nonetheless, for science. Exactly what kind of scientist are you? I am a scientist of many types of twig ah, and... Whoa! Ah, okay, it's definitely electrified. No, but uh, you okay, chap? <sighs> Thank you for that. You've done a great, great service to the scientific community. You okay? To just get my breath back. Take take a breather. Get me out of these nettles. Oh god. They're my only terrible downfall. memories. Terrible memories for you, I'm sure. Well, I don't know. Should we turn back? Should we keep going? Well, we haven't trekked that far in yet. Let's keep going. So watch out for that bloody fence. So, there. Oh, how peculiar. Oh, we have an obstacle. Yeah, mate. Do you remember this tree? Oh, I remember everything about here. Hmm. Well, I can't help but get the feeling we're being... Oh, oh, what happened, chap? You okay? I bumped my head on the tree. Are you okay, chap? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You were saying? I remember everything about these woods, about this area in particular. 
But you've got a funny feeling that. I've got a bad feeling about this. I feel like we're being watched. It's not about the mission, Master. <sighs> it's something else, though. <sighs> Oh, watch your feet there. Going into unfathomable depths here. Watch your feet there, chappy. I used to live around this area. Truly. What did you eat when you lived around here? It's quite barren. Well, All I see are nettles. You can't really survive on nettles. And I don't really want to tell you that part of my past, it's quite <laughs> difficult. Uh, I think I'll take your lead on that. And There's many things trying to trip us up. Since I've met you. Huh? I've tried to maintain sanity since I've met you. Quite, quite. It's just quite a hard thing to do in this land. Oh. There's a story that needs a bit more fleshing out. Why is your footing there, my friend? You've heard of the cult that used to be around these parts. Well, I only know of the tales that you have spoken. They're all true tales, mate. I suspected as much. Ah. <clears throat> They're not around anymore, though. They disbanded when they got exposed. Quite. By all their members. Wait, why am I remembering that? It was all in my head. It wasn't What's real. What's you say? All in your head? That cult thing was all in my head when I was stuck in the nettles. But... This is place is real. The wood, yeah, the, the wood's real, yes. Uh, right. Unfortunately. I see. I see now, I see. Oh, God. So many logs around. See, this is why I took up science of sticks, you see. Perilous if you're not clued in you to what they're capable of. Shoot, What's that you say, Shaffy? Yes, yes. Oh, if you don't know what to look out for, sticks and twigs can be very perilous indeed, I tell you. But still, decades. And trust me, I know a lot about these lands, but still, I've never seen this place before. This place that we walk right now. You're a stick, man. You're a stick scientist. Uh, I am. Well, there's no such thing as stick science, really. What? Did you not know that? Of course there is. No, there isn't. Of course there is. <laughs> these woods are making I, you think there is, mate. I am very very deeply offended you know i've dedicated most of my life to the profession of stick science <laughs> only to now find out that it's all been a sham i think being here is starting to get to you a bit and you're trying to project it onto me <laughs> i know that my science is the true science of the world the true nature of everything lies within twigs and sticks and trees and logs and bark and wood lice. <laughs> you okay there, chap? <sighs> What's wrong? I shouldn't. I've absorbed too much electricity from that fence. Sorry, what was that? I've absorbed too much electricity from that fence. Ah, I see. <laughs> Just need to rest. You just resting? Oh dear. Are you okay? Oh no. I don't know what to do. He's just sitting there. Wow, he's just lying there. Motionless. I don't think he's breathing. I can't get a pulse. Something has gone terribly afoot. Uh. 
Oh my gosh! You're okay, look at me. What? I swear you were dead. Yeah, your hand, please, Mister. <sighs> wow, that was a horrible ordeal. Yeah. Heave. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh. So it's true, you really are immortal. Yeah, you just had to witness that to confirm it, mate. Blabber. Be strong again in a few minutes. Wow. Uh, I don't quite know what's it, so if I die, that's gonna happen to me as well. Uh, yeah, mate. Wow. Wow. I told ya. Hmm. Where's that electric fence? Alright. Only joking, only joking. I'll leave it for now. <laughs> uh, let's get right. on with the walk, mate. Alright. Quite. Treacherous footing here. Treacherous footing. Hmm. Ugh. What's that you say? That's a branch, mate. Shh, shh. What? He's telling us to turn back. Do you uh, think we should listen to him? I've gone this route millions of times since I've been stuck in these woods. I thought you said you had never seen this route before <sighs> since your first encounter with such a demon, oh, as it were. Fuck! Now the memories are returning to me like that! You've been here before. Uh, I guess I forgot. What's that you say? He told me that there is an ogre living. <laughs> an ogre? Living over there somewhere. Uh, no mate, there isn't. That's what the stick said. Uh, You're calling it, um, me a liar. <laughs> Sticks don't talk, mate. What are you on about? Of course they talk. They're, they're just sticks. They're just falling from trees. What on earth are you talking Of course sticks talk. Did you go to school? Uh, when I was a boy and before I came wow. into these woods. But Surely. <laughs> we then. didn't learn the science behind sticks, mate. It's yeah. nature. All right. All right. What school did you go to then, eh? Uh, Can't you pull him on it anyway? We all know that sticks talk, you silly punk. I went to the Sydney Comprehensive. Listen, I went to the great Oakwood College of Stick Science. Okay? <laughs> So I think I know a thing or two about <laughs> sticks and twigs and trees and bark and logs. Okay. For instance, did you know how trees even mate? Uh, you just plant them? Yes, but do you know how they procreate? They don't. Of course they do. No, All animals just... procreate. Trees aren't animals, mate. What? They're, they're plants. Don't you know the difference what? between a plant and an animal? What are you talking about? A plant is just a species of animal. <laughs> no, no, it is. Of isn't. course uh, it is. A plant Did is you a ever plant. pay attention in science? <sighs> Listen, I graduated with honours and distinctions <laughs> at the Great Oak Road Tree College of Tree Science, okay? You haven't gone to the University of Woods yet. I actually was so good at my uh, exams that I skipped several years and I did not need to go to such a place. <laughs> it's around these woods somewhere. Listen, all I'm saying is that the stick told me that there's a great ogre that lives down there um... and he feeds on the flesh of the living. So we should heed his warning, mate. We should be very careful. What are you worried about? Like myself, you're immortal, so you can't die from being attacked by an ogre. But I don't really want to be eaten by an ogre, well, even if I come be, back. You can't be eaten by the ogre if you're immortal. Of course, an ogre can just eat your flesh. You regenerate, I suppose, but you'll still get eaten first. And right. that seems like it'd be quite unpleasant. Well, I've gone through there loads of times. 
I don't trust your judgment. And uh, specifically in these circumstances, just because you told me that you'd never seen this place before. Uh, I couldn't remember seeing it before. Exactly. If it is an ogre, Shrek would be his name. Watch out with your footing there, chap. Yeah. Let's wind that evil stick. An evil stick, mate. Oh yes, no, did I not tell you that stick's evil? <laughs> but just it's like ordinary to me. Just like humans, sticks are both evil and good in nature. Oh, oh this my. is a this is quite a hill to get up here. Right, um, mate. Uh, right. Take my hand. Right. Got it. Ah, oh, even more. Look how high up we are. Over the hills and far away. Right by the treetops. Right by the treetops. Oh. Right. Tell the Aussies come to play. We don't want to go tumbling down this hill. We're not Jack and Jill. Exactly. There's it, not a well, there's no pail of water. Oh. What is this, Nerfy Roam Land? So anyway, as I was saying, I, I was just feel educating, you know, but just like human beings, there are both good and evil sticks in nature. <laughs> I believe you, mate. For instance, this fellow over here. Now, there was no ogre. When you approach, when you approach a stick, you've got to be very careful. Could you hold this, please, sir? Oh, you good. Give me the shot. Now, whatever you do, do not try this unsupervised without a stick professional. Okay, remember I graduated with great honours. I believe it's just called honours, mate. Hello. Hi, how are you? My name is Stickman. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. Stick, he's crazy, mate. Really now, so what can you tell me about this ogre? There isn't one. Really? That's not an ogre. <laughs> oh, you jest. You jest. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, I shall relay the message. Thank you. Thank you very much, good sir. I will leave you in... Oh shit, fuck piss. Stickman, this? look out behind you! Oh god! What? <laughs> what is it? You Did better you just fart? <laughs> no, you better run for cover. There's no ogre in those trees, mate. Oh, I know, the stick told me. That's the wood demon. It is indeed. But don't you know? I'm great friends with the wood demon. Hey? Yes, we go it, back it a long way. It will devour you, mate. No, 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 no. Right, if you'd care to let me demonstrate this. We go back quite a long way. We go back quite a long way. But you haven't been in these woods as long as I have, mate. Look, I don't know why the wood demon didn't tell me about this place. But I'm sure there was a perfectly good reason. Uh, and we are on very good terms. This okay? is home. Surely not. This part of the woods is the demon's home. No. Yeah. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. I'm being Australian. Uh, he told me he's a wanderer. He has no home. He travels around uh, the entire right. woodlands. He's a of woodland the world. hobo. All the woodlands of the world are his home. 